in this presentation we're gonna look at doubly linked list so doubly linked list has two links one is back and one is forward so we can go back and forward doubly linked list is an important data structure most of the operating system Windows Linux and potentially other operating systems use this data structure internally as mentioned traversal can be done forward and backward is the single most important feature or advantage of doubly linked list so this is how generally a doubly linked list looks you have the data and you have one link which is the forward link and you have another link which is the backward link so this is how it looks one seven three nine so the F link is pointing to seven three and nine then at the end you have a null here and B link points backwards and you have a null here to show the end of the F link and B link. Now let's see a demo. So we have the struct D naught here. We have the B link here, which is a backward link, and we have the F link, which is forward link. We have a global list variable, pointer variable here, my W link list. And this is the first function which is the display which is straightforward like in the case of a simply linked list while temp is not equal to null we are traversing the list and printing the data here it's exactly like simply linked list we have one more operation here which is display reverse so in this case we are just going to the end of the list and printing it backwards so in this case all the difference is instead of using F link we are using B link so what we are doing is we are starting from the last knot and coming to the first knot by traversing backwards using the B link now we have add at the end we have two temporary variables temp1 and temp2 temp2 is initialized to my doubly linked list so if the list is empty what we are doing is we are just creating a node and attaching to it in this case we are making sure both the B link and the F link is null because there is only one node and the data is of course the data which is passed here so if it is not the first node what we are doing is we are traversing till the end So that's what is happening here we are traversing till the end just like in the case of a simply linked list and adding a node so the new node is temp1 and the last node the current last node is temp2 here is the steps to initialize the new node so F link is obviously null because it's the last node and data is number which is the input value and temp1.b link is temp2 because B link should point to the previous node which is temp2 in this case and temp2.f link the previous node forward link should point to temp1 next operation is deleting a node so in deleting a node 
all we are doing is we are traversing from beginning to end so temp equal to my double linked list and here we are checking if the condition for deletion is met which is data equal to equal to input number if it is a first node which we need to delete we are jumping one node ahead and making the B-link of that node to null because B-link of the head node is always null initially this was pointing to the head node after deletion this will be the value of head node and B-link should be always null of the head node if it is a last node temp dot f link will be null if that is a case what we are doing is temp dot b link which is the previous node to the last node dot f link so temp dot b link dot f link which means that the f link of the previous node to the last node or the F link of second last node equal to null because we are going to delete the last node so the F link of the last node will always point to null if temp is in between the first node and the last node we have to fix up the node like this temp dot b link dot F link which means that temp dot b link which is the previous node to temp the forward link of the previous node to temp should be temp dot forward link so if you understand it correctly there is no complication what we are doing is we are removing the temp from the chain so the F link of the previous node of temp should point to the node after temp that is exactly what it's doing here temp dot B link which is the previous node to temp F link of that should point to temp dot F link currently it is temp what we are changing is we are making it temp dot f link if you understand that logic this is very similar but in the case of b link this is the forward link which is next node to temp b link of that next node should point to the temp dot b link exactly same logic as this but in the case of b link at the end we are freeing up temp if you're not coming into this if condition we are traversing to the next node if you are here which means that we have not returned here which also means that we have not found the data if we come inside here we will definitely return here so we have a print up here not found now we will have a run through this we are adding this many elements then we are doing a display and then we are doing a display reverse and we are deleting one element here I'll put a breakpoint here and start now we are adding the first node so the first node is added as you can see here with data 20 B link and F link is pointing to null now we are going to add the second node so we came here
so we have allocated new element adding making its f link to null b link to the previous node which is the temp2 and pointing temp2.f link to temp1 which is a new node so b link is null we have not changed the b link f link we have pointed to temp1 which is here 40 we got so 40 is the data we have added f link is null here which is what we have given here so feel free to debug it further so we'll see the case of uh, delete in the case of delete the number we have entered is 137 so we'll put a breakpoint inside the while so we have temp equal to 0x006c5z48 which is not equal to 0x006c5b70 so we are not going into this if condition so we have come here we are checking if this is the last node tem.flink tem.flink is not equal to null but it is 0x 0060 5c90 so we are not going into that if condition as well so we are in the middle of the list so if you watch the temp temp the value of the temp is 137 and B link B link is 23 which is the previous node and F link is 33 which is the next node I would recommend you look at the debugger carefully in the watch window when I execute this statement so temp.blink which means we are pointing to this node f link of that which is this so this is the value we're going to change here to tem dot f link so tem dot f link which is this value so this value 48 is going to be 90 after the execution of the statement As you can see, 48 become 90, which is exactly the same as this, which is tem.flink. Now, tem.flink, which is this, dot blink, which is this, 48, ends with 48, is equal to tem.blink, which is this value ending with 5z00 so after this statement this is going to be double zero 5z00 that's exactly what happened so feel free to debug it further if you have further confusion the debugger should eliminate any confusions you have here in case you have so after that we are displaying it again and we are getting this output so 20 40 23 137 33 18 that is the forward traversal the next one is the reverse traversal next one is the forward traversal after deleting 137 that's all about the demo let's go back to the slides so we have seen our uh, working of the doubly linked list and it is a very important data structure from an operating system standpoint. Thank you very much.